Hey, good news, my fellow subscribers. My name is Ultima, and everyone welcome your fine faces back to some more Pokemon Insurgents. Last time, for those who were just tuning in, we made our way here to Machi Town to take on and continue the journey that is before us as we got done realizing that Orion is not a strange individual for speaking to a white rock and calling his best friend. No one to contrary. His best friend is basically the white mighty dragon of Unova, Reshiram, and a powerhouse for that matter. So, I feel bad for our rival who has to take on Orion, knowing that he has his big ass threat in this team, as if his sun team wasn't mighty enough. Now he has Reshiram on his side. But we're also looking pretty powerful ourselves. As you can see, our team, I have a Gardevoir, a future Haxorus. Uh, Delta Scyther, Gyarados, Crobat, and Azumarill. So our team's looking pretty mighty to say the least. And I just got done evolving my Gardevoir, actually. And let's get a bit of a team recap so that we can introduce the new members to our team. We may have... Two new members introduced with Rydia and Cleaver. I need to change your name. I'm actually going to change it after this team recap. So, Rydia, a very elegant name for an elegant Pokemon. Psychic Fairy type. I love it so. Timid Nature. I had to catch like eight Ralts off screen to finally find a good Trace Gardevoir. And I did finally. So, it's looking pretty powerful to say at least. So, any good abilities we can copy in the future are going to be most advantageous with decent EVs into defense and special attack. Well, I don't know where that came from. Oh, yes! We're finding all those pseudo Wudos I fought off screen. Labyrinth, we got a team recap off of you. Cleaver, however. I need to change your name. That is... I mean, your sides do look like Cleavers, I will say that much, but I just don't like the names that the um, traded NPCs give you most of the time, so that's just not my style. EV IVs, however, are looking pretty nice in this thing, other than defense. However, with this thing knowing the moves, Ice Ball, Low Sweep, Pursuit, and Slash, Ice and Fighting are fantastic attacking types, but this thing has like six weaknesses, so I have to pay attention to what I'm fighting against. As for Rydia, moveset-wise, we have Drain, Kiss, Magical Leaf, Psychic, and Calm Mind. So this thing is ready to just go to war, and possibly set up on some fools that are not ready to take this thing on. So, we're looking good to go as far as that's concerned. Let me go change this thing's nickname. I'm not digging Cleaver, I'm sorry. It needs something more powerful than that, it's a fucking scissor. Okay, after changing that thing's nickname, I called it Ruination, because honestly, Mega Delta Scizor is doing just that. Honestly, this thing is going to fucking destroy everything. With Ice Fighting type, oh my god, this thing has a fantastic offensive type. Hmm, we're in town now, and I don't recall me ever talking to any of the townsfolk. Let's go and see if we can make any awesome trades here. Whoa, that's a swallow. Hi. Do you have anything? Oh, his, he just says low. Oh, I was hoping to give me an item. Would you like to buy this egg off of me? I found out my journey I hardly need it. I have no money to spend. Sorry, I'm a broke-ass bitch right now, and I have no time for eggs to be hatching. I wonder. I remember hatching that thing, but I can't recall what it was. I can't recall it being anything amazing, so I'll get it later. I moved to, Machi to Machi Town so I could get myself a secret base. It's super fun to decorate it out with stuffed Pokemon plushies or statues. Oh, so this is the place where you can get that. Right, unfortunately I can't buy shits because I'm broke as hell. Ah, uh, damn it, the struggle was real, but that's okay. My Pokemon are looking super powerful, so that's all I meant. Ooh, a Luxray, hi. What a monster. Good lord, I was hoping you'd give me a Lucky Egg or something. How is it that in almost every region, it's always a kid that saves the world from teams? Because adults are lazy as piss and they can't do anything to save themselves in this world. I would understand if there were one or two fluke victories, but that can't be a coincidence. No, that's just a mainstay. I just love spending time with my Pokemon. My Luxray and I have had so many great moments together. I can well imagine why. The thing's a badass. I'd like to give you a gift. Wow, you're an amazing person. I love you already. Team 57 charge me. Ah, Rydia! Look what you just got. Nice. Ah, uh, that's awesome. I wonder, can anyone else other than Rydia learn charge me? Because I know for a fact Rydia can learn this move. Let's see. Nope, just Rydia. Wow, don't you feel special? Um, what do I want to replace for? Charge Beam is not that great of a move, I'll be honest. I'm really not that big a fan, because it's just not that strong. Then again, neither is Drain Kiss nor Magical Leaf. Psychic is awesome. Call mine. These two are staying. So if anything's going to get replaced, probably going to be Moonblast and probably some other coverage move. I don't know, I might use Charge Beam. I'll think more on it. It's just 90% accuracy, 50 power, not even stab. Uh, I mean, Call Mine does the same exact thing except 100% of the time. No, we're not using Charge Beam. Now that I got done thinking about that, no, we're never using Charge Beam because we have Call Mine. What's the point? All right, so now that we're done with that, let's keep going. Um, hello, bald guy. How are you doing? It's so quiet here in Machi Town. Nowadays, not much happens here. I can see why. This is my kind of town. And honestly, speaking of town, isn't this the Final Fantasy 1 town theme song? I recognize this theme. I really do. 
I saw some young girl right into town earlier. Yeah, she is the reason why I trained my entire team to level 3 because when I first played this game, I thought she was impossible to beat. I thought I'd never beat her. This is probably one of the more difficult fights in the entire game. I can hear her clomping across the bridge from inside my house because she's an absolute savage with that. Uh, we'll get into that later. I heard that the legendary Kami tree are hidden somewhere in the region. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, we met up with two already. Here in the Torn region. Wow. Yeah, you figured they'd stay in Unova where they usually resided, but no, that's not the case at all. Oh, it's a what? It's a Brazel! You have an item? Damn, no one has an item for me. I want a lucky egg, damn it. I know you can get one, I just don't remember where. Some of the water in the city is darker than the rest. Could that mean that there's more water down below? I wonder how deep it goes. Yes, I need some scuba gear so I can investigate. Oh, I forgot to check out the other towns. Now they have the instant lappers. I could have got some rockin' TMs. I'll do that next time. You know Nora from Midna Town, right? She's actually my sister. She grew up in this very household. Yes, uh, funny that you mentioned Nora, because we're actually going to be taking her on very, very soon. Holy crap, and I'm kind of scared of her. I moved to Machi Town after living in Helio City for a year. The small town feel of this place really appeals to me over Helios. The sound of the birds chirping, the river roaring, I absolutely love it here. You have my kind of style of mind. I like you. Alright, let me save the game, because God, fuck, oh my God, fuck, shit, balls, tits, big game. Who am I leaning off with? Who am I leaning off with? Do I want to lean off with Ruination? Hmm. I mean, you're kind of fast. You're kind of strong. You're looking kind of nice. Uh, I hope I'm making the right decision by sending out Ruination first turn. I mean, Ice Fighting type, you have a lot of weaknesses. But you have a lot of strengths in turn. Here we go, let's do it. And there she is, fucking waiting for me. Look who it is. It's the chosen one of Celebi. Ah, <sighs> right. Hey, Ultimate, how are you doing? It's me, Nora. I see you finally made it to Machi Town. I love this place. I used to live here, actually. I just wanted to meet up and talk about something. But first, how about we battle? There aren't exactly any cults around to find out, so why don't I show you exactly why my cell will be so dangerous? If that isn't a sign for bad things to come, I don't know what is, because honestly, her cell will be a fucking savage. Competitive moveset and everything. Hone edge. Did I make the right decision by leaning? Okay. Does this thing have Evil Light? I don't have any knockoff Pokemon, which sucks. Badly. Because I know that, uh... Delta War Tordo probably would no knockoff at this point. Ah, uh, it probably has Eviolite. I don't know what to do against this thing. Hmm, Steel super effective against Ice. I can't low kick it low sweeper for shit. Pursuit's not gonna do much. Why would she switch? Uh, Eviolite. Oh man, what am I gonna go into? I think I made a bad decision by going into this thing first turn. Uh, if I go into Radio, he'll probably just head, Iron Head me or Flash Cannon the fuck out of me. Uh, let's see, what can I go into? Uh, Rampage is looking kind of nice. We can get an Intimidate drop on, off on this thing. Let's do it. Let's make the nice switch. Hopefully you won't pursue me. Yes, you're not pursuing me. Good shit, good shit. Intimidate drop for the win. Let's go. What are you going to go for? Aerial Ace. All right, okay. I was not anticipating that. That did nothing. Wow, I'm actually a little bit disappointed. I'm going to go for the bite. See how much that does. Ah, that sounds powerful, but this thing is indeed Eviolite, so that was actually a decent chunk for what it was worth. You know, fuck that, Dragon Rage. And screw your Evil Light, this does 40 every time. Let's see how well you take this. That's a 2 if I've ever seen one. Are oh, you gonna go for Shadow Sneak, trying to get that last chip damage off? Hyper Potion, okay, I hope we get a flinch for your healing ass. I can't even get Hyper Potions, how come I can't get that shit? Okay, flinch, damn it, no flinch. I know I'm faster, so I'll be able to go again. Um, out Dragon Rage and Bite, they're gonna do the same exact thing, honestly. But if I get a flinch, I can easily kill this thing without this thing attacking me back. Come on, can I get a flinch? Damn it! No, I was, don't get, don't crit me. Thank you. Woo! I'm gonna Dragon Rage just in case. Nah, nice. Guaranteed 40 damage. Cheap as fuck. How does it feel? How does it fucking feel? We're right at that level cap. Here it comes. Oh god, here comes the fucking monster himself. I can't mess about with this thing. Do I want to go for straight damage and possibly flinch? Or just go for straight guaranteed damage. I wonder which one is more advantageous. I wish I knew how much health this thing had. It's base 100 all across the board, so probably it can take two or three dragon rages. I'm gonna go for bite, see where we stay. No, 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 don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. Oh my god, that was a crit, don't get the boost, don't get the boost. Yes! Yes! That did nothing. Can I get a flinch? I haven't gotten a it has leftovers. Oh my crap. Uh what am I going to do? Should I preserve this thing for an Intimidate drop? Is it even worthy of doing that? No, I shouldn't let it do that. What if I switch and it goes for a Nasty Plot? Uh, I have no idea what I want to do. Damage. Oh, I was hoping to go for Net. Uh, don't get the boost. Please don't get the boost. Okay, did you get the boost? Yes. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. 
Don't want to fuck about with that thing. Not at all. Um, assassin. I want you to poison Fangar and just wing attack the shit out of this thing. Go for it. I know you are at speed. Easily. Ah, this is where Crobat comes into fucking play. Unfortunately, Ancient Power is still a threat, however, what is stronger, Poison Fang or is it Wing Attack? I never really ascertained that information. I, I didn't mean to hit Switch in, it's already in battle, I know this already a game. Alright, which is stronger, which is stronger, is it Poison Fang, Wing Attack stronger? Does it badly poison? It toxic poisons them. Ooh, that's pretty nice, but I'm gonna go for the Wing Attack and play safely. I need as much damage as possible on this absolute monster. I hope you set up, I really do. Don't go for Ancient Power, just set up, go for Nasty Plot, because you might need it. Psychic? Oh shit! Ow! I live! <laughs> Let's see if I can get a toxic poison on this thing. If I can, that'd be great. Can I can I get it? Can I have it please? Can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have a poison? Ah! Let's go! Yeah! Fuck your leftovers! Ooh, you're done. You're fucking done. I'm gonna go for damage now. Take this thing out! Nice! That's good shit right there. Not bad, assassin, coming through. All right, so that was well done if I do say so myself. Now you are no longer a threat to me. Hmm, who wants to take the revenge kill? Ax you? Are you feeling real? Now you'll get outsped and hit with a psychic or some shit. Radia, I feel you'd be the perfect choice for this time. Let's go for it. I could alternatively go into Delta Scyther because I think that thing has speeds. I got natural cure, that's nice. Okay, cool. Um, so I have great special defense, and I don't feel I think I just want to go for Call of Mine. <laughs> oh, y'all, eat it up, Rydia. Eat that shit up. Yum, I'm gonna let the poison take you out because I'm cheap as fuck like that. I hope it kills you. I hope it does. Oh, it doesn't. That's fine. I'm gonna go for another Call of Mine. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go for another one. So my. Ah, you greedy bitch! You dumb piece of shit. Did you forget you're badly poisoned? Ah, nice boost! Nice and humiliating, sent up in your face. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, now I'm at plus two. What are you gonna do to me? Trap inch? Trap these nuts. I'm gonna go for Drain Kiss. If you're Dragon type, you're fought. Oh, you're not Dragon type, you're just pure ground. But oh! Oh, Rydia's gonna sweep. That's my fucking girl right there. God damn, she's a monster. Floette? A fairy type. Ah, especially defensive fairy type. Let's see. I have the psychic move. I have the fairy. I have the grass. I want to go for a psychic. Let's go. Stab psychic. Let's see what we got here. It's my first time using the move, too. That almost killed. Oh, my Jesus. This should do nothing. Wow. Five damage. Five fucking damage. Oh, my God. I'm going to go for drain kiss just for the hell of it. Oh, uh, young souls! I got out of that totally unscathed. Rydia, you're a savage. Good fucking lord. I love this Pokemon so much. Swadloon, what in the hell are you hoping to do to me? Honestly, I wish I had a fire move or hidden power fire or some shit. No, I feel Psycho will be most advantageous. I'm plus two, so this should do a hell of a good chunk. If not, kill this thing and bring it down to its focus test. x Scissor, I'm fairy type. What the fuck is that going to do to me? I don't even care. I'm gonna go for Drain Kiss just because I want them souls! Yum! <laughs> oh god, that 1 HP is beautiful. That's it? Oh, I was hoping you'd have more to entertain me with. I was just getting started. Even with Celebi, I can't win. Yeah, I can't, I can't even use Mew, but you can use Celebi and I still whooped your ass. Fuck out of here. Oh, that was good. That was satisfying. Wow, that was intense. I'm starting to get convinced that the prophecy was about you instead of me. God damn right. I wish I were able to read it, that way I can know for sure. Yeah, who can read that stuff? Anyways, I need you to talk to Damien. What's going on with him? He seemed trustworthy, so I told him about Celebi and Mew, but I don't think I fully explained to him just how important it is for him to shut up and not talk about it. Then why'd you tell him? He's gonna tell everyone now. Oh, come, I thought we were gonna keep that shit a secret. No, don't trust anyone except you and I. No, fuck that. Would you mind doing that for me? Last I heard, he was headed south to Vivic City to challenge Xavier. What, Charles? What, fucking... You mean to tell me Professor X is in this game? I do it myself, but I'm lazy and I apparently have other things in my mind. I'll see you around Ultimate. Yeah, think about that ass beating I just gave you. Alright, so my team is looking strong. I could use more physical, uh, special attacks, I should say, because I have too many physicals, but... My team's looking kind of powerful right now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually very proud of my team. My team's looking really, really nice, and I need to ensure that Axew gets to level 38 as soon as possible so I can get the next evolution. Because, uh, Axew, you're looking like the weakest member of the team right now. But that's okay, you're going to be the strongest member of the team once you're fully evolved, without a single doubt. 
All right, so a whooper! Oh, so fucking cute! Hi. Bye. Do you have something for me, whooper? Oh man. Whoop whoop. <laughs> So fucking adorable. God diggity dang it. Honestly, Wooper was probably the most interesting thing in this house because you two are talking a bunch of nonsense right now. Hi, how are you? I ran all the way here from the Kanto region. I can't feel my... God, you're a fucking ultra marathoner, aren't you? Nice. Alright, so, hey, check this out. What's up, dude? If your Pokemon would faint when taking damage, this item lets you live at 1 HP. Are you giving me a Focus Sash or are you giving me a Focus Band? Focus ban. Ah, fuck that item. Thanks. Ha! You had that focus ass, didn't you? Wow, you con. Okay, he got me there. He really didn't get me. You little shit. Um, let's see. Ooh, a mischievous. Nice. Uh, no one has an item for me. Who has the lucky egg? I need that so badly. I wish I had a girlfriend. <laughs> uh, first world problems. My favorite Pokemon are grass types. You know, if you ever want to try using grass type, this may help. A miracle seed. Thanks, I appreciate it. I can actually give that to Rydia to boost the power of that magical leaf, because why the hell not? There's not like magical leaves doing anything else with its life. Alright, so let's see. Give that to Rydia. She'll appreciate that. Nice. Very nice indeed. This town was named after Michi, one of the gym leaders here when the region was first founded. She had a fairy type gym. She was undefeated as long as she was here. She retired eventually, and we named the town after her because of her winning streak. In place of her gym, we sell secret bases to sell the newcomers. Why don't you try buying one? I will, once I get the cash for it, because I'm broke as shit. What's in the water? Any new customers? Ah, first customer here in Machi Town is a technical. I already have one of these. I swear to God! It actually sounds like a fucking squeak toy. Wow, I need to play that back. Whoa! Fishing in Machi Town, you get yourself an Aloma Mola. What the hell? Whoa, I wasn't anticipating that under any circumstances. Let's go for a Dragon Range. It will, will be safe. This thing has a shit ton of HP. Heal Pulse. Ah, nice healing! Aqua Jet. I love that Aqua Jet looks like paper planes. <laughs> Blue color paper planes. That's awesome. Go for False Swipe just to bring it down even lower because why the hell not? Aqu Aqua Jet has one of the best animations ever. Wow. Okay, so. Nah, fuck that! Draco Jet, a priority dragon type move that was made specifically for this game, is even better. It's a bunch of Latioses just coming toward you in the same animation that Aqua Jet does. That's incredible. Alright, so let's catch this thing. That was easy if I do say so myself. We caught on the first try. Well done, Axew. The Carrying Pokemon. Floating in the open sea is how they live. When they find a wounded Pokemon, they embrace it and bring it to shore. Damn, that's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Unfortunately, you're not the best of water types. In my opinion, the best Pokemon are the ones with the best movesets. I agree, like Smeargle, he's one of the biggest movesets of any Pokemon. Yeah, unfortunately, he's Doodoo Butter. Oh, it's a Shuckle! Hi, do you have something for me? No one has anything for me! God dang it! I wish I had a boyfriend. Well, how about if I hook you up with a person up north? Honestly, you two would be perfect. Both thirsty asses. <laughs> We've been using our day count to... <laughs> That's so stupid. <clears throat> What's up, dude? How you doing? I hear you're the one to talk to for a secret base. Greens, do you know who I am? Allow me to tell you, I am known as the secret base manager. Trainers from all over the world come to me to purchase and manage their secret bases. You know, you can do a lot of things in your secret base. You can decorate with trophies or plushies or even hire people to work for you there. You can even visit your friends' secret bases. If you want, you can lay traps around your secret base to prevent your friends from easily sneaking in. If you want, you can play a fun game of capture the flag with your friends or visit their friends' safaris. So, have I convinced you yet? Would you like to have a secret base? Unfortunately, I can't buy shit! I'll be back for this later. Ah, uh, gosh, dang schnabbit! I'm broke as shit! Then again, I drop all my money on Pokeballs and healing items, so I'm actually prepared as a Pokemon trainer, but not for, like, miscellaneous shit, so... Oh well, let's head south. It's a Mudkip! Oh my god, it's so fucking adorable! Let's go! Give me... Do I have a Water Ground type? Do I have Ground at all on this team? I used to with Excadrill, but I don't have a Ground type in the team. If you don't have a Ground type, you don't have a team! Uh, we need to remedy this as soon as possible. We have too many water types. Um, honestly, I'd rather have water... F oh, we have too many electric weaknesses on the team. My god. So, either one of these three needs to go. Not permanently, per se, but our team synergy is looking kind of shit. So, I need a ground type in the team. I'm not gonna lie. So, I'm catching this damn Mudkip. Holy crap, we found ourselves a powerful threat in Swamper. I just hope it's good natured and decent IVs and shit. Alright, so, god, I'm such a nerd. I don't even care, though. I want to make sure this thing's good, because this game is tough. 
All right, this thing's gonna destroy me. Uh, if we don't catch it now, because I forgot it was using Bide. Ah, wait, Bogo! It's blue, just like Mudkip. This better work. Come on! Mudkip! Come on! Mudkip! Mudkip! Fuck, I'm dead! No, ask you! Shit! Gone! Fucking blown away. I'm so sorry, Labyrinth. God dang it. Mudkip, you little shit. All right, let's go into Rampage. You got the Intimidate drop. I like, Mudkip's gonna do anything anyways, but add salt in the wounds. Might as well. Damn it. All right, go for the Pokeball. Watch, how much you want to bet the Pokeball's gonna kill? Not kill, what am I talking about? It's gonna catch the Mudkip. Three. Aw, oh, shit balls, come on. Come on, let's capture the Mudkip, shall we? Mudkip! Ah, nice, got him. I caught Mudkip, and there we go. What should I name this thing? Oh, uh, I know what I want to name this thing. I sometimes name this thing, uh, what I named it in Reborn and Dwayne Johnson, but I'm gonna call it Anchor Arms because it's Mega Swampert. <laughs> Alright, the Mudfish Pokemon. Mudkip! On land, it can be, it can powerfully lift large boulders by planting its four feet and, and heaving. It sleeps by burying itself in the soil at the water's edge. How fucking adorable. I'm gonna call you Anchor Arms. Hey, just like from Spongebob. <laughs> That's so fitting. A-N-C-H-O-R. With anchor arms, it slips on like a glove. <laughs> Perfect! Ah, oh, nice. I wonder if Swampert that is in this game. All right, let's see if we can catch ourselves another Mudkip, and let's see what's in this grass. Why don't? Oh, there's a hidden grotto here. Fuck everything. Let's check this first. Ah, nice. I'm hoping to find these hidden grottos. By the way, I know this one's here. Ugh. I'll take the item. Fuck this thing. Whoa! A squirrel! <laughs> Oh, yes, 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 thank you. A Squirtle is much better than a fucking bitch-ass Pampor. Ah, nice! Hello, Squirtle. Nice and awesome. Sweet freaking deal. I will take this any day of the week. It is so adorable. Let's go. False swipe. Whoa, that actually almost brought it down to one. Not bad in one swipe. What well, I it is level 10, so I have to not give Axe so much credit. However, Pokeball, go! Throw it. Yes, I caught Squirtle. Excellent. Nice. I have a good nickname for Mega Blast Voice, actually. A decent nickname, if I should say so. Alright, so, let's see. A tiny turtle Pokemon. Squirtle! Squirtle! <laughs> the Squirtle Squad. Nice. Its shell is not just for protection. Its rounded shape and the grooves on its surface minimize resistance in water, enabling Squirtle to swim at high speeds. Alright, so I actually have a decent name for you. I'm gonna call you Mega Man, because that fucking arm cannon's a Mega Blast toy, so that's the reason why. And plus, it's male, too, and it's Mega Blast toy. It's a fucking monster, so Mega Man it is. Nice. Alright, so that's that hidden grotto out of the way, and I'm glad I was able to catch a starter when I did. Oh, hi, a trainer. Alright, kids, show me what you got! I'm sure you're not a nerd, but I have yet to do a nerdy voice, so there you go. That's a mainstay. You are furthest from a nerd, however... I hope you are formidable. Duskull. Ooh, interesting. Well, I uh, wish I had Dragon Dance. I really do wish I had Dragon Dance at this point, but it's fine. It's fine. We can go for a Dragon Claw and see how much that does against this thing here. It's kind of bulky, but it should be a two-shot, hopefully. It, whoa, 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 Lapras, calm down. Calm your ass down. Oh my, I wasn't expecting that to kill, even though it was a crit. I don't think this will kill. I mean, I am underestimating... Whoa, that's a two-shot. Okay. Uh, wow. You, you are strong. You are strong. My god, I have to stop underestimating Axe you. Even though it's just a little baby, it's strong. It has like base 95 attack for its point in this For this point in the game, that's pretty good. A Kabuto. What can you do to take out Labyrinth? Can you kill me? No, you're just gonna lower my defense. Um, that could actually be bad. Ooh. Do I want to risk Axe you getting knocked out? Uh, I'm going for it. Ah, you're an idiot! Thank you for letting me just take you out like that. Nice! More experience for Labyrinth. Well done. Unfortunately, it's not enough for a level, but that's okay. Huh. <sighs> Got blown away. Damn, you have a cool sprite, I'm not gonna lie, for Ace Trainer. Alright, I have 16 minutes left in my timer for my camera, per se, so I need to make haste and try to get to the next town if I can help it, and only catch the things I feel are most worthy for the team, so let's not waste too much time. Oh, come on! I don't take this personally. It was the spirits that called upon me to defeat you. Okay, really? Really, woman, you're that kind of, yeah, you're that creeper person from Gen 1. <laughs> In the good old, uh, what's it called, the Lavender Tower. 
Alright, so, you should be an easy fight for good old Axew here. Dragon Claw go! Just Dragon Claw the war! I can't wait till we get Dragon Dance! Oh my goodness, it's gonna be a, a great time! And then some Dragon Rage finish it off, gone! Ah, nice! Well done indeed! We're making great strides towards an awesome team! A Drifblim! This thing is kinda bulky, but let's see if it can- Ooh, Stockpot, it's faster than me? Wow! And again, I'm not that fast. I am just an Axew at this point, so I'm mainly strong. Can it still two-shot? Not even, that's a four-hit KO. However, I am confident that Dragon Rage can two-shot, regardless of your stockpile. Bullshit! Nice! Wait, I don't even think Dragon Rage is gonna kill. Really, I don't think... Wow, well, let's see what we can do here. Can it kill? Does it have enough? It has enough to survive, so I'm gonna go for Dragon Claw. Wow, you were just setting up all over my face, but it doesn't matter because I have moves that say fuck your defense rises. It doesn't matter. I'm still gonna go for 40 every single time. So you're just wasting your time trying to... Ooh, Rotom. You have a legendary on your team. Interesting. Uh, do I want to stay in on this thing? It does outspeed me. Probably knows Discharge. Who can take a Discharge? Nobody, because I'm a ground type in the team. Um, Rydia, do you have Shadow Ball? No, you don't. You have Psychic. Uh, nothing can hit the thing. For anything decent, so I'm gonna go for Dragon Claw. T-Wave, no, don't paralyze Lambros, don't paralyze me. Yes, no first turn para. That's a two shot, let's see if we can break through yet again. I'm confident that we can. Eat up, y'all. Mmm, that's my fucking girl Lambros. Not taking no shits from anyone, not bad. Excellent work, taking out that legendary. All right, I lied. There were not spirits, I was just hoping to defeat you. Wow, good, wow. Nice job trying to sound creepy. Vivic City! Ah, we finally made it. Well done. Well done indeed. Let's save and call it a day over here. I feel we've done more than enough at this point. Thank you, Nurse Joy, for being a great MVP to the team. With this said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like rating down below. It really helps us to support the channel, the series, and everything I'd love to do for this channel in the future. On that note, my name is Ultimate. You guys are awesome. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, and farewell for now. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it.